Hello everyone, I'm going to tell you about a change to our timetable in September and what that means is we're going to have an enrichment lesson timetabled every Thursday last lesson and what I'm going to do in this PowerPoint is give you a little bit of uh, information in terms of why we're doing that, how you should make choices and what you need to do next. Okay, so we're going to start off why do we encourage enrichment in school? Well for us our experience has shown us that Students certainly benefit from doing enrichments. Your education for life is richer the more experiences you have, and you generally get a better understanding of yourself and the world around you the more opportunities you take. You can then develop really important skills and qualities while still having fun. For example, teamwork, enterprise, creativity, getting involved with the community, coping with challenges, and developing your own well-being. These are all aspects of enrichment depending on the choices you make. So the question is, how should you make your choices? And what are your next steps? Well, for me, I would certainly be encouraging you to think about what might you succeed at doing? When you see your choices, what you think you might have success with, or you might think in, in terms of what you might find challenging. Something's really gonna stretch you and push you uh, to try and do different things. And what might also let you learn something new? Something that's gonna move you on in life, different, develop a different skill perhaps. The options that we have will either run all year round on a terminally basis. Your job is to complete a form that has been assigned to you in your tutor team. So when you get the form, you'll fill in your name and your tutor group, and then you get to the first question, which will ask you about whether or not you're interested in an all year option. You can either put down that as a priority, that you have some interest, or you're no interest at all. That will help us to organize who should be put in which place. Then you're gonna look at the terminally options. Now we need three terminally options and a reserve. So as you can see here, question five says, pick a choice and you'll have a list of choices, you pick one. And then question six will say, make another choice. And then you'll have question seven, which will add for your third choice. Question eight will be the one where you put your reserve because some of these enrichments that we can offer will obviously be restricted in terms of numbers. So we have to make sure we balance that correctly across all the students in your year group. Now we're getting into the stage where we look at what is actually on offer all year and termly. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through it and hopefully you can pause at particular points so you can look at the different slides with the information. So the first one is an all year one and it's school sports squad training. So Mr. Sands will be leading this and what he'll give you is an opportunity for you if you're in the squads for football and netball to come down and train. The second all year option is very exciting level of, of, of community action with Miss Gatnash. A whole range of different activities throughout the year that you can get involved in, which will really open your eyes up to the kind of things you can do in terms of involving yourself with the community. I'll let you have a bit more time to read this. Okay, now another all year option is skiing probably different to the other ones in the sense of it will have a cost because of course you're getting lessons and you'll need the equipment when you're actually at the ski slopes. If you're interested in this though, this is an all year option based and it'll be quite a small number I would expect who will get involved. Pause if you want to read further. Another all year option, astronomy and Mr. Tippy. Okay, and this by its very nature, if you if you won't go through this, you're interested in base, you're fascinated in the planets, you may want to take this further and it could even be the background to a future GCSE. Now, for those of students who have an interest or a passion for movies, we have 20th Century Film Club, and this will be a terminally based option, so you'd only do this for maybe 12 to 14 weeks. And this is with Mr. Earl. To read further, just pause. Another terminally option is photography with Mr. Carney and Ms. Shepherdson. If you want to read a little bit more about that, pause now. Another terminally option is personal fitness. Well, Ms. Sweet will be directing classes that you can take part in. They will develop your own personal fitness and different methods of keeping yourself fit. Pause if you want to read further. Another terminally option will be pre-Duke of Edinburgh with Mr. Borland. We run Duke of Edinburgh Awards further up the school, so this will give you an opportunity to learn a little bit about those and the skills you'll need to actually take those on. Then we have climbing, led by Mr. Smith, which is going to be using our climbing wall, obviously, in the sports hall. 
you want to read a little bit more, pause now. We have an uh, gardening and construction with Mr. Soothill is another termly option. A whole range of different things that you may learn how to do in this period. If you're interested in this, pause now. Dr. Smith is providing on a termly basis the opportunity if you learn about journalism with her under what it will be hashtag FST Voices linked to our new website. So if you're interested in that, pause now. And finally, we have Lego Builders with Miss Rodham and Miss Heffleton. Okay, so if you're interested in reading a little bit more about that, pause now. I hope that was helpful. All right. Obviously, you can look at this again. Now your job is to go and make your choices. Thank you.